Okay guys, today in Fusion 360, we are going to make a basic hinge that you would find like on a door. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to go create sketch, or if yours button isn't here, you just press create, create sketch. And then we are actually going to use the top plane to start this. So I'm gonna click here. And just to make my view a little better, I'm gonna click up here on the box at the top. The first thing we need is to create a center point rectangle. So create and then hover over rectangle and press center rectangle. You're going to click on your origin and you are going to move your mouse out until you have a good size rectangle. For this project, yours doesn't have to be the same size as mine. We're just going to use um, relative size based on the current view that you see. Yours may not be zoomed in as much as mine, it's fine. So as long as you have a center point rectangle that's about decent size, that's fine with me. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a line down the center of our rectangle. So press create line. Make sure you have your blue X up here at the top before you click. And then you're going to bring it down to the bottom of the rectangle. Again, I have another blue X and click. And I have my line. So in order to create this, we need to split. What we're trying to do is we're trying to split this rectangle into two pieces. So we have two pieces to work with. And they'll both be the same size. So to do that, we are going to press the offset button. And we're going to offset this line. We're going to do it two times. So press offset. Click on your center line. It should automatically make it one millimeter offset. Press OK. Then we're going to do that one more time. So you're going to click Offset again. And if your button isn't here, you just drop down on the Modify menu. And there's the Offset button. Click on your center line one more time. And this time we're going to make it negative one so that it's on the opposite side of the rectangle. And press OK. So now when you hover over it, you should have two smaller rectangles instead of one big one. And if you zoom in, you can see the lines that we offset it here. Alright, so now we can press finish sketch. And then I'm going to press the home button. And so we now we have our two rectangles. We need to add some mass to our rectangles. So we're going to use the extrude tool, which looks like this. If yours isn't here, you just go create extrude. Click on both rectangles, and then you can actually either type your distance in here, or you can just drag it with this arrow. I'm gonna drag mine. I'm gonna make mine about five millimeters will work, and then press OK. So now we have two rectangles that have some mass. They're actually a 3D shape. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we are going to create some circles for our actual hinge and knuckle. So we're going to go create, create sketch. I'm going to click the front plane. And then we're going to create some center point circles. So go circle, center, diameter, circle. Click on your middle point. I'm going to make my first circle about this big. Oops. I'm going to go create a circle. I'm going to make another circle. So I'm going to make two circles. This one a little smaller than the first. And then my third circle needs to be even smaller than the first two. I'm going to press finish sketch. So now I have three circles and my two rectangle pieces. So now what we're going to do is we are going to hide a body. So you're going to click on your arrow here by bodies, press the eyeball, you're going to hide a body. I'm going to change my view a little bit so I can see um, this side of the hinge a little bit better. 
should just do it like that. And then we're going to extrude these circles to cut out the groove for our um, our pin. So to do that, we are going to press the extrude button again. Click all three of your circles. Where it says one side, change that to two sides. Where it says side one, extent type, change that to two object. And then click on the front face, which is this piece right here of your rectangle. Then we're going to spin it around a little bit. Come down on your menu here on the right where it says side 2. We're going to change that again to object where it says extent type. Click on your face, so this area right here. And it's going to cut that out as well. Now press OK. So now we have a groove cut out. For our pin. So now what we need to do is actually make the pin. So to do that we're going to um, use our circles once again. So your circles probably disappeared after we did that function so to just get them back come over here where it says sketches and push the eyeball on sketch 2 and they will come back. So we're going to extrude one more time. So press the extrude button. And then we're going to click on all three of our circles. Where it says direction, I'm going to change that to symmetric, which means both sides are going to move the same. And where it says operation, change that to join. And we're going to drag this out a little bit. And you need to remember this number for a little bit later. So I'm going to make mine 15 millimeters. That looks about decent. Pretty evenly spaced in the middle. So I'm going to make mine 15. Whatever yours is, remember the number because you're going to need that here in a little bit. Press OK. Then we're going to extrude this just one more time. And what we are going to do is we're going to just extrude the middle pin the middle circle. So we'll go to uh, symmetric, operation, join, click on your middle circle, and then I'm going to move my screen a little bit, sorry. It doesn't have to be the full length. Um, what is that? 60, that's 55. So I'm going to make mine about 57 millimeters. And then I'm going to press OK. So I have my hinge pin created here on this side. So for now, we're done with this side. We just created the most important part of the hinge. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide this body. We're going to bring our first body back that we haven't done anything to yet. OK, so this time, um, to make our knuckle, we are going to press Extrude. We're going to click all three of our circles again. Oops. Two, three. Might have to zoom in a little bit. Start. Over. So we're going to go two sides like we did earlier. We're going to go to object. But we need to make sure this time it says join. And so we're going to click on the front like we did before. Change this to, to object again. To the back. And then press OK. So we have the first part of our knuckle created for our pin to go into. Now we need to hollow this out so that our pin will actually be able to fit inside of there. So we're going to extrude again. Press the middle two circles. Um, this one you can just do symmetric and we're going to cut. And then bring that all the way out until it cuts a hole through the knuckle and press OK. Okay, so we have one more thing to do, and that's to create the space here for the other hinge to be able to fit in there for our pin to be able to fit. So we're going to go create, extrude, we're going to click all three circles. I'm just going to do symmetric, and we're going to cut because we need to cut the center out. So this is important that you remembered the number from earlier. My number was 15. 
So we want it a little bit bigger than 15. So I'm going to do 18. I'm going to press OK. All right, so now we have our knuckle created for our pin to slide into. And to see how it's going to look, we need to unhide our body. And there you have it. After you press your eyeball, you have your hinge created with your knuckle and pin that all fit well. And you have just finished this project. Um, so if you want, you can create your own effects to this. You can put holes in it. You can make the ends fancier with the um, sketch tool. It's up to you. Try to be creative and add something, your own personal touch to this project.